Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. Hope that you're having a great start to your day or a great middle of your day whenever you're watching. You know, I love animals. I love going to zoos and uh, seeing how animals act and interact with each other. And there's one animal that always feels like it shouldn't be real. It feels like it's real in comics and in cartoons, but in real life, it doesn't seem like it should be real. And that is the sloth. Because the sloth just feels like it's, it's a character, it's made up, that there's no animal that would actually function the way a sloth does, that would move so horrendously slow and, and would, would be so uncalculated that it could fall to its own death because it doesn't hold on to the branches. The sloth feels like it shouldn't exist. And yet I love the sloth because it is so great of a character for how we live our life sometimes that we just wanna move slow, that we wanna live life that is, is just meandering at our own pace and without purpose and direction and drive. Sometimes we just wanna hang out like a sloth in a tree. And unfortunately, that same reality is true of our spiritual walk. There's times where we just don't want to, to dive in, to push into our faith, we just wanna hang out. and. and because of that, we're given a, a reminder in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 12. It says this. Actually, I'm going to back up to verse 11. It says, We desire each one of you to show the same earnestness, to have the full assurance of hope until the end, so that you may not be sluggish, but be imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. See, he's talking about people who, to the end of their life, are pursuing God and serving Him with, with drive and earnestness and, and passion to glorify God and serve Him with all their life. And he's challenging the desire that, that we have that's ungodly to just say, well, I don't feel like it. I don't want to. I'm not in the mood to do it. Because the, the truth is that the things that we should do are very rarely things that we wake up desiring to do. They're things that we have to be intentional to lean into, to, to motivate ourselves to make happen. And in our faith, the same is true. We don't accidentally end up living lives of significance and impact in our faith. It takes intentionality and consistency day in and day out to do that. So let me encourage you today, if you're in a slump and you just feel like coasting, you just feel like hanging out like a sloth in a tree, let me encourage you to get up and to find a way to, to act in significance in your faith. And maybe that's as simple as just reading and studying the Bible. Maybe that's going to coffee with a friend and talking about their spiritual walk and, and encouraging them in that. Maybe it's you coming and engaging with worship this weekend. Maybe it's you taking a step of signing up to serve in a ministry or go on a mission trip or get involved in a nonprofit in our community. Let me encourage you to take a step a step away from coasting, a step away from comfort, a step away from complacency and towards significance. And the way that we do that is with intentionality day in and day out. So today, don't be a sloth. Don't hang out in a tree, but lean in with earnestness and intentionality so that you can glorify and honor God all of the days of your life. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.